awakened something, having a kid had awakened something in me that, you know, that you, you can't explain it to someone else unless it happens to them. It's, having a kid is a lot like taking LSD. No. It changes your <laughs> life, and it's not possible to describe it to someone else in any real fashion. That's, that's great. Right? <laughs> yeah. It's really great. It just, it's just like, yeah, you, you'll have one and it'll, 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 it'll yeah. change you. It'll change you. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you know, so that had changed me, but still I, I hadn't connected the dots to where giving is actually a gift to myself, mm -hmm. which is what real spirituality and service is. Mm -hmm. It's not just a, you know, do it over here and it fixes you over here, it's that doing it from here is what this is all about. Yeah. So let's let's move forward a little bit to your only one in the room story. You're a cuckold. So this is yes. that, this is uh, uh, ex-wife number two. Yes. Um, this is Kelly. This <laughs> is <laughs> Kelly. Yes, yes. it is. Hi, Kelly. I used to watch her show. It's <laughs> She wrote a book called, If You Have to Cry, Go Outside. Yes. And other things your mother should have told you or something. Yeah. That's like the I, <laughs> I, I love Kelly. Kelly introduced me to the Veda. No way. Yeah. Really? Um, she was a devotee of uh, the mother, Mother Mira Alfasa, who was the spiritual partner of Sri Aurobindo. And Sri Aurobindo was the greatest... Uh, Vedic sage of the 20th century, and uh, there's a place in South India outside of Pondicherry called Auroville, mm. which uh, they founded in the early 70s, where they, it, it was supposed to be an international village, mm -hmm. you know, some 5,000 acres or something, uh, and M Mother Mira was the, the, Sri Aurobindo died in 1950, but uh, she had carried on his work, and it was all about you know, finding unity and oneness and, and spreading love. And so she had a teacher in Auroville, um, and I went to India the first time with her uh, okay. on our honeymoon. Um, and it was, it was our, our, our marriage was kind of a train wreck. Mm -hmm. um, Why is that? Because, you know, because I, she married me for my potential, and I married her because she wanted to get married. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, and I went against my own truth getting married, mm -hmm. and it's it's like it, we just never we, we shouldn't have been married. We weren't a match. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and you know, once you go beyond your you know, past your own truth, and you do it for someone else's truth. Yeah, that was it. Was like the it was the universe offering me the lesson that I hadn't been able to learn with my mother, which is, it, it you can't do it for someone else. You just can't. Mm -hmm. And I I tried. I tried desperately to do that. And it was 2001, and I was uh, uh, I did a, a movie in Romania with Casper uh, Van Dien and Greg Henry, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I went from there to India and I spent, I don't know, five, week, five weeks there uh, with the express purpose of figuring out how to leave the relationship or go all in. Because I felt myself teetering, just like constantly questioning, constantly yeah. questioning. And, uh, and my friends there, our friends there, Mikael and, and Mary, they're just they're spiritual nuts. And uh, Mary Premala is this uh, English woman who's lived there for 40 years and mm. smokes these little beaties and, and does uh, <laughs> translation for these uh, big strapping Brahmins and, and uh, speaks five languages. And mm. She's amazing. They took me to this uh, temple, in uh, this Shiva temple in, in Tiruvannamalai. And um, it's this huge uh, Shiva temple, and it's very, you know, there's stories about elephants there, and there's a place where the priests do what they do, and it's, yeah, that's interesting. And then we're leaving town, they said, do you want to see the Kali temple? And, do you know who Kali is? Mm -hmm. So Kali means black, but Kali is like this, uh, I have a niece named Kali. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, so Kali mm -hmm. is the goddess of destruction. Oh. <laughs> but she destroys that which is no longer relevant. Oh. So it's, 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 okay. it's necessary. She's selective. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So 
we went to this Kali temple, and there's this Kali, and I look at her, and she's, you know, and they have different forms of Kali. There's the gentle form, and then there's the harsh form. And they had, they had this gentle form here, or, or the, the harsh form, but she was a harsh form made out of a gentle form. Mm -hmm. And then when you're leaving, you come around the corner, and there's the gentle form that's telling you goodbye and blessing you, but they had made a harsh form into a gentle form. And it was like, I saw this life-size statue, and I just, I couldn't move. Mm -hmm. It was she was covered in this uh, kun kum, which is that red powder, mm -hmm. and there was just one black eye staring out at me, and I literally got just stopped in my tracks. And my friends kept going, and out of me came this prayer: "Please take away that which is no longer relevant." And I just stayed there for a while, and my friends came back and said, "What's going on?" You know, and, and like the spell was broken, and I we went off and. A couple days later, I called my wife and I said, are you fucking around on me? This We've been together seven and a half years and that had never occurred to me. Are you back in the States? No, now? I'm still in India. You're still in India. Okay. And, and she said, no, baby. What? And you had to go to a special calling station to call them. There were no cell phones or anything. Um, no, baby, why would you say that? Are you having fun? And, you know, all that. And, if, you know, uh, and then I went to, there was at this ashram, there was this guy who had been there since 1952, and he had been a dresser on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And he was just, he had, his house was filled with little statues that he changed their clothes every day. He made clothes <laughs> for them. And he was like 80 years old at this oh, point. And he was just, he was just, uh, he was a hoot. Mm -hmm. And I went to visit him. And we're sitting on his veranda, and he's just, he's like putting up with the Westerner who's there. And he's getting ready to go to bed. He says, oh, do you want to meet her? I went, I'm sorry. He says, I never ask anyone this, but do you want to meet her? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so we go down the veranda to this other door, and it's got these big old-fashioned locks in it, on it. And you know, he takes these skeleton keys out, and he opens the two different locks, and then swings the door open, and there's another life-size collie sitting there in a throne. And from her, I feel the, the message, are you sure? Uh, and wait, to remind me of the question you asked her the first time. Please take away that which is no longer relevant. Okay. And she says, and are, you sure? are you sure? And I said, yeah. yeah. And you know, and then I, the next day I called my wife said, you sure you're not fucking around with me? No, baby, when are you coming home? You know? mm -hmm. I get home and, you know, she's been fucking around with me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I find out a week later that uh, she's pregnant with uh, you know, another man's child. And, uh, and you know, it was, uh, it was like my house had burned down. Mm -hmm. And I needed that last bit of the pregnant with another man's child because, like, like I told you before, if my house had burnt down and the chimney was still standing, even if the fireplace had never worked, I would have built a new house around that mm -hmm. fireplace. Mm -hmm. 